Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. I'm gonna be testing out a giant face brush. This is probably the largest brush that I have ever owned. It is very similar to the Artiste brush. Online it says that there are a million brush hairs that are really tightly packed that make this brush so special. This is from Eloise and this brush will run you around $42. The Artiste Oval 7 that I use a lot is 62, so you get more brush for less money, but I wanna see if the quality is the same. So the brush, <laughs> I don't know why that I find this funny. It looks like one of those like baby brushes that you brush like an infant's head with or something. I don't know, or a paintbrush. What does this even look like? It's so huge. It is teardrop shaped. You have a million synthetic bristles in here and it is very soft. I mean, I cannot stop touching this. It's really, really just feels so nice. It's supposed to apply foundation beautifully with zero streaks and you can use this on the body as well. The handle here that looks kind of funny is actually so you can hold the brush really effortlessly. It's ergonomically, wait, how do you say that? It's an ergonomically correct handle that allows you to apply foundation and product easily, quickly, effortlessly. And it just kind of reminds me of one of those handles that you would put on the back of your phone for Snapchat but hey, now we have it for foundation. Ooh, bristles. I'm gonna stop sitting here and weirdly like petting the brush and actually get to applying the foundation. So let me scoot you guys a little bit closer. So my face is primed. I've used my Benefit Professional and we are ready to go in. Look how, like, just look against my cheek how giant this is. It is the largest face brush ever. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my foundation and instead of just smearing it all over the brush, which I usually do that with the Artiste Oval 7, but because this is so large, I just wanna make sure I get an even amount of coverage and I just, I'm scared to put foundation all over it. So what I'm gonna do is just dot my face and then go in and blend it in. I'm using my matte foundation from Fiona Styles. I love this stuff. This foundation you actually have a little bit of work time with, so I'm not too worried. All right, we're just doing this. It says to use a light touch. You don't want to press too hard. <gasps> oh my god, you're ruining my video earring. Why am I wearing earrings to do foundation anyway? I'm trying to be fancy for you guys. I hope you know. I just, I always want to look my best for you. This is making weird noises. So you definitely don't want to press too hard, otherwise it almost feels like it gets blotchy. So you really want to make sure that you are using a light touch. So it did put my foundation on pretty gosh darn quickly. I am going to give it that and it is nice to be able to go down the neck if you need to. I always do because I just don't want any harsh foundation lines, so that's nice. I can see how this would work really, really well for body products if you use different things to make your skin look a little more tan or even use it with self tanner. I think that there are good things about this, but the one thing I am gonna point out is it is so giant that it is really tough to get like around the nose and up by the eye. You really have to kind of angle it in a weird way and it doesn't quite want to blend as well as it does on the cheeks where you have more of a flat surface to work with. I don't have any brush strokes or streaks it is not as packed as the Artiste. This one still feels way, way more packed tightly. I feel like this, I can poke my fingers right in. It's not completely flat and packed. Whereas the Artiste, like I have to work to get to the bottom of that. Like it's just more firm up at the top. Because of that, when you go to glide and blend, it just really flattens everything out and blends really, really beautifully. This is still my favorite, the Artiste. However, this is $62 and you don't get as much space and coverage as you do with this brush, which is less money. So it's gonna be preference on the size of brush you want and how you hold it. There are some good things about it being in your palm like this and being able to put it on. There's something about that that I love. But then when I get to this area on my face right here in my nose, I wish I had a handle. It's just like kind of an angling thing that drives me a little bit nuts, but this is not bad. I actually really enjoyed this. I'm being super curious now. <laughs> I kind of want to see how it blends out cream foundation. So I'm taking the shade Bisque, my Vanish foundation from Hourglass. 
And I'm gonna do a little bit of kind of foundation highlighting on this area of my face just to see how it blends out a cream. That makes the weirdest noise. This does not do that. I guess it kind of does, but not the same. This. Huh. All right, it's taking the product way too far down. I do not like that. You can see how I'm holding it. I'm actually holding it on the edge right here. See, I just find it kind of awkward to hold it like all at once. I'm actually like holding it by the edge to have a little more control. So I don't know that I love the whole handle part for any place other than large areas like your cheeks. Blending in a cream foundation, a stick cream foundation, took a little more effort because I was holding it in weird ways, trying to use pressure on certain areas of this brush and not others. So obviously for detail work, this is gonna be a nightmare to work with, but if you're someone that wants foundation to go on really quickly and you don't mind taking like your fingertips around your nose or whatever, then this could be a good brush for you because it just literally goes like it's so fast. I do enjoy that about it. The bristles are really soft. It does not leave streak marks. It does move the product around quite a bit. So you have to be careful to not use too much pressure, but it's not a bad brush. I don't not like it. I just honestly don't know that I will reach for this every day. So that's where I'm at with this. If you were curious about it, which a lot of you guys on Instagram were, it has the same softness. It's not packed as tightly, but it does do a good job. It's not bad. I have tried other brushes that are like this that I've been like, ooh, like if it's not packed enough, you get streaks and brush marks and stroke marks everywhere and it's just not a cute look. All right, so now that I've tried two different types of foundation, I'm gonna finish up my face and I will see you guys in just a minute. So now I have my full face of makeup on and I have to say looking in the mirror literally inches away from my face because the second I turned the camera off to finish up my makeup, I was like this. Like I do my makeup super up close because I don't like lines and I want everything to be perfectly blended. And I have to say I was really surprised that everything on the cheeks was absolutely flawless. Like even over here where I have a hard time blending, just down through the neck, everything blended so beautifully with this brush. So I'm gonna say it's a great product. The huge drawback for someone like me is that I'm gonna want something else, be it a beauty blender, be it my Artiste Oval 7, something else to get around the nose, in between the eyebrows, in those more detailed areas. This is just too giant to get the job done. This works well with liquid and cream. I think for 40-ish, I believe it's 42 or $45, this is a great value. It's really beautifully made. The handle is nice. There's just not too much to gripe about it other than you get trapped in those areas where it's just too big. So I do hope that Eloise as a brand expands and comes out with different brushes. I think the handle is really unique. And I'm also really excited to use this on the body with uh, body makeup. And I will keep you guys informed, updated, and all of that good stuff on how that performs as well. So this was a fun OMG. I kind of thought this would be too big to do anything good for my face, but you guys know sometimes, I mean like even with this brush right here, can I just like go crazy right now? Like my giant bronzing powder brush and this giant foundation brush, you know? Cover a lot of space in a snap and get out the door a few minutes earlier. So I think this is a good product if you keep in mind the couple of drawbacks. And there we have it. That is this week's OMG Tuesday. You guys were the ones that informed me about this product. Let me know other products that you wanna see. Leave that in the comments below. And I love you guys so much. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.